The AI world is moving faster than ever, and if you blink, you might miss the next big thing. Today I'm bringing you something that will completely change the way you create videos. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to use VEO3 for free with one year of unlimited access. That means no limits, no worries about credits running out, and no hidden restrictions holding you back. As you can see on the screen, I used a new email that has never been used for VEOPRO subscription before, and I did this while recording in real time. To make this even more exciting, I've prepared something special for those of you who stick around until the end. At a random point during this video, I'll reveal the simple steps you need to follow to grab a free virtual card you can use to get your own VEO access with zero balance. If you skip, you'll miss it, so stay with me. By the time you finish this tutorial, you'll know how to unlock unlimited VEO3 videos and use this powerful AI tool to its full potential. Let's dive in and get started. First, we are going to begin directly on the computer screen. The very first step is to head over to Google and type in Google Student One Year Offer in the search bar. Press Enter, and you will immediately see a list of results. The very first link that appears will have the title that says Free Pro One Year. That is the link you need to click on, because it will take you straight to the official page. Once you land on the page, look for the button that says Get Offer and click it. As soon as you do, a new page will load where you will be asked to verify eligibility. When you select that option, a form will appear on your screen asking for your personal details. Now right here is something very important to pay attention to. On that same page, you will find a list of countries where the student offer is available. In order to access the offer successfully, you must make sure that your VPN is active and connected to any of the countries included in that list. While free VPNs sometimes work, I strongly recommend using a reliable paid VPN because they are much more consistent. Personally, I suggest NordVPN, and I've added a discounted link in the description below for your convenience. For this example, I will go ahead and select India. After that, you need to choose any school name from the drop-down menu. One very important detail to remember here is that the school name you select should not include a city or any location at the end of it. As you can see, I've selected a school that fits this requirement. Next, fill out the form with the requested details. Start by entering your name, then proceed to add your date of birth. For the email section, you can use any Gmail account that you already have, so there's no need to create a brand new one. Once you have completed these steps, simply open a new tab and head over to Google Gemini. Once you have Google Gemini open on your screen, the next step is to use the updated code. If you have used code from other creators on YouTube, you will notice that their method is no longer working. So, here's a fresh and improved one for you. All you need to do is copy this new code. After copying, click on Canvas inside Gemini and paste the code directly into the space provided. When you press Enter, a completely new format for the student card will appear. The older format is now being rejected, which is why this new template is so important. As you can see, the entire form is neatly structured, but it's much simpler compared to the previous version. The only required step here is to upload a student picture. I used Google Whisk to generate the student's picture. Click on Choose File, then select and upload any student photo from your device. Once the picture is uploaded, the next step is to enter the student's name exactly the same way you entered it in the earlier form. After that, enter the date of birth again, matching it with the details you already submitted. For the student ID, you only need to modify the last four digits. You can put in any random numbers, and the same goes for the phone number. Randomize the last four digits, and there will be no issue at all. The address, however, should remain the same as what you provided earlier. At this point, simply download the card, make sure your browser permissions allow the download, 
and in case it asks you to download twice, just confirm it. Once the card is saved, return to the form page and click on Verify Student Status. The system will take a few moments to process. Sometimes, instead of the normal verification window, you might see a screen asking you to sign into a school account. If that happens, do not worry. Just close that tab and return to the main form. Here, upload the card you just created and then hit submit. As soon as you submit, a timer will appear on your screen. Be patient for a short while and you will see the approval go through in just a few seconds. And there it is, approved successfully. The final step is to click on Get Google AI Pro. When the page refreshes, click on Get Student Offer once again, and you'll have unlocked your access. As you already know from the previous videos on YouTube, this next step involves adding a payment card. Many people often ask in the comments which type of card should be used. So let me clear that up once again. You can use any valid card, but it must be either a Visa or a MasterCard. And most importantly, it should have international payments enabled. Without that, the process will not work. For this tutorial, I used a free virtual card with zero balance from Bybit Exchange. That's my giveaway to you. Go ahead and enter the card details here. That's all you need to do. Once the card is successfully added, we can proceed with the subscription. I've just entered mine, and as you can see, the subscription has been confirmed. Now, the same process can be repeated if needed, but I won't go too deep into that, since by now you should already be familiar with it. Instead let's head back to Gemini, to confirm whether the Pro Access has been activated. And there it is, the colorful circle has appeared and the word PRO is now showing right next to the icon. This clearly confirms that our account has been upgraded. We've successfully unlocked the student offer for 12 months. To double check further, I'll also open Flow, so you can see if the 1000 credits have been added. Here, I'm logging in with my Gmail, and as you can see, the credits are already available in the account. Everything has been activated properly. Next, I'll switch over to my Gmail inbox to show you the confirmation email. Here it is. It says welcome. You now have the Google AI Pro plan. Inside, it outlines all the features and benefits included in this offer. That wraps up everything for today. You now know how to unlock one full year of unlimited VEO3 access, how to upgrade to Pro, and how to create and use a free zero balance card to complete the verification. If you followed every step, your account should be upgraded, and your credits should be waiting in flow, ready for you to start generating unlimited videos. If this walkthrough helped you, please press the like button. Likes really help the channel grow, and let me know you want more in-depth tutorials like this. Subscribe, and turn on notifications, so you do not miss future deep dives, updates and practical tricks I share. Drop a comment below and tell me which part you want me to cover next, or show me the first video you create using VEO3. If you run into any problems, screenshot it and post it in the comments so I can help. Finally, check the video description for all the links, timestamps and resources I mentioned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Yeah, I made this with VEO. Subscribe to AI Pipeline now.